Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Um, a few things have happened, which is why I haven't recorded in a long time. Uh, the main thing is I'm now at university, so I'm studying graphic design, which means I can share my graphic design knowledge with you guys from my lectures and stuff like that. So you'll probably see a lot more Photoshop tutorials in Illustrator and InDesign and everything like that. Uh, I've now got the full Adobe Creative Suite, so I'm going to be doing tutorials across everything. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be using Adobe After Effects CC 2014. Um, I do recommend getting this. The full package is kind of, well it's kind of still expensive, but you pay monthly instead now, so it's not as bad. Um, obviously there are still other ways to get it out there, like cracking it and stuff like that, but I assure you I've got the full version now at last. Um, so, the first thing we're going to be doing is transition mask effects in After Effects. So to do this we want to create a new composition um, and we want to create the HDTV 1080 30fps. We can up this to 60fps if we want but to be honest there's no real need in this situation. Obviously if you're creating something a final product which is going to be a higher resolution or higher FPS and go ahead and do that. For the background we're going to use a dark grey. In fact we'll use a light grey for this purpose. There we go. Once we've done that we need to create a shape or some text. For this first part I'm going to create a shape and I want it to be... I'll do... Do a green, I think. Yeah, green. Why not? Oops. Hold shift and make a square. And we can drag that into the center. Like so. And there we have our starting shape. I'm going to remove the stroke actually in this, so we're going to set stroke up at the top to zero. So now that we've done that. Oops. We can now get on with creating the transition to the shape. So to do this, we're going to click on it. Make sure you have your shape selected. Um, and then we're going to right click and we're going to go on to mask, new mask. And that's just going to create a layer mask for us. Then we can alter this layer mask by just dragging it around and stuff like that. The layer mask we're actually going to create, going to create this time is going to be a sort of diagonal line, sort of shape. It needs to be bigger, bear in mind, than your actual shape. Oops. And it also does need to actually cover your full shape. So mine's going to look something in like that. So we've got a mask which is bigger than our shape which covers our full shape at the start and is sort of diagonal shaped next thing to do is to keyframe this so we can go on this drop down menu here, go to masks go on the drop down menu of mask 1 and then we want to click the keyframe here and then go forward a few seconds to about 4 seconds and we want to move the position so do this Stay on here, sorry. And we just simply move the mask over to there. So at the minute, that's going to create this effect. So if I click, click off everything, it's going to glide across. And we can see that the shape gets deleted. Now, if we wanted to change this round, we could have it the opposite way. So all you have to do is move your keyframes back to the opposite positions. Oops. So now the shape will appear if I click off of it. So it will appear and fill out as time goes on. So that's one way of doing it. Um, next way I'm going to show you how to do it is by the use of text. It's pretty much the same direct way, uh, but I just think this is a cool transition method. And using layers of these, so you could use multiple uh, shapes and stuff like that, you can create a really, really nice clean effect. And also, you could use a rotation, 
stuff like that to make this look even better. You could even keyframe your rotation, for example. Like this. That's how it looks like. It completes as it rotates. Which is a pretty nice effect. Next thing is to create our text. So we're going to write crafting motion. Of course. I'm going to be using. We'll use the standard B bass for this. And we want to make it a little bit bigger, of course. Make that a little bit bigger. Lower the spacing. So we've got crafting motion there. Shrink this down a little bit, why not? We'll shift to scale it down. And we're also going to change the colour. To yellow. Oops. Fuck. To Now what we can do with this is the same again, we want to right click it, mask, new mask. And then you just feel free to create your mask how you want it. Um, don't forget you have got to create your mask and not do what I was about to do. Which is change the path straight away. So with this one we could add another, another point to it. So you get your pen tool, add vertex tool. We could add another vertex into the middle. Then we can alter this vertex like so. So you could have it going straight down like that. Obviously, you'd need to make these longer as well. That way, when we come to mask it, obviously this will need to be further up as well. that we can then click on mask path keyframe it to four seconds and move the mask down you can shift click on all the points to move it all together hold shift and then move it down to the bottom and this will create the mask like so it goes down in an arrow. So there's a few different things that you can do with it. Next up, we'll try something. In fact, um, for the next one, I'm going to show you how to do a wave. It's very, very similar. Uh, in fact, I'm going to change the color of this because you can't see it very well. Can you? There we go. Change the color of this mask as well, actually. There we go, that's much better. So for this, you can add a point in the center again. Then by holding Alt and dragging, you can create a wave effect. And then this can be, obviously, mask the keyframe. I mean, keyframe the mask to four seconds. And move it down. Bear in mind as well, you can also change the shape of the mask over the keyframe. Like that, I could just make it go like that. And let's see what this looks like. And this will be completely random. In fact, that's just a swipe because obviously it just swiped across. But we can select, hold shift, click, 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 move it down. Obviously you'd probably want that in a straight path, so you hold shift to keep it straight, hold shift it'll move it down. Then what it looks like is a wave coming over it like so. Or you can do it back to front like I said before. Just move your keyframes to the off positions. And it'll look like a wave coming up. So yeah, that's just a few things you can do with that masking technique. Uh, they are transitions which you can use on text and stuff like that. So if you enjoyed this video and would like more tutorials, please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks for watching. See you next time.